Cody. Thank you for coming and talking with me. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. So, how is school going? Better this semester than last semester. Yeah, how was last semester for you? Last semester was kind of bad. It was um, a lot of math and physics classes and meteorology, and I discovered that that's not my strong suit. I'm better with actual facts and stuff that don't need memorized equations mm -hmm. to manipulate and stuff. So, just the fact that like you weren't really, you know, it wasn't really your strong suit. Yeah, it wasn't right? my strong suit. It became overwhelming for me. Mm -hmm. Overwhelming. So what you're doing now is a little bit better? Yeah, I switched to psychology as a major, and that's okay. more fact-based, and I definitely like it a lot better. Okay, well that's good. What kind of like psychology classes are you taking? I'm in social psych, developmental psych, and abnormal psychology right now. Okay, so you like those? That's yeah. Good? That's yeah. good. What other classes are you taking? Um, CPS 180, which is a computer programming class, and Statistics 382, which is the last thing I need to finish my math minor, and it also counts for psychology. So. That's good. That's good. So this semester is going a lot better for you. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. So I hear that you're working. Where do you work at? I work at the library on campus. Um, I'm a monitor, so I have to go around and enforce the policies, mm -hmm. let people know what kind of food and drink they're not supposed to have in there, make sure they know not to have their cell phones out on first floor. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize it, but first floor is where the special needs students have equipment and stuff down there, uh -huh. and it interferes with their technology if people have their cell phones on and are using them and stuff on that floor, so yeah. we have to remind people that they can't have it on because even though it's closed at night when I work, mm -hmm. it still has the students can get in there with their IDs and stuff, so sometimes they're working on there and people don't realize that they're okay. back there, so. But overall, do you like it? Is it yeah, overall, you? it's a fun job to have. Last night was kind of weird because the alarm went off and we were trying to do the closing announcements. Does that we normally were, not happen? No. Normally, if it does anything, it just makes a loud beep when we first push it, and then you just hit all clear and it starts over again. Yeah. Where this time, all the lights on the panel turned red, and the evacuation fire alarm went off, which was kind of nerve-wracking because it was like, I didn't hit anything. All I hit was all clear. <laughs> so then I had to figure out how to clear it really quick so I could announce that it was okay and that all we were trying to do was announce that we were going to close in a half hour. That's good. Well, it seems like this semester is going a lot better for you, and work and school don't really, you know, interfere with each other. And no, actually, um, when I work in the extended hours portion of it, which is the part that is open across from Java City after the main part closes, I find that I can get more work done there than if I were to be back at my apartment because it forces me to study sitting at that desk and stuff because otherwise I'd just sit there on Facebook or be bored or something, so mm -hmm. I do homework then. Well, that's good. That's really good. It sounds like things are going well for you mm -hmm. or going better and stuff. So do you do anything else? Any other kind of activities like yeah. inside school and work? I'm part of program board. I recently got elected to be secretary for next year. Can you explain what program board is? Program board brings um, artists to campus, like comedians and okay. bands and lectures and stuff like that. And we help, like, we book the show, and then as a general member, we're in charge of being there before the show to, like, help direct people to seat, stand by the doors, answer questions. Mm -hmm. When there's a show coming up, we promote the show. And as secretary next year, I'll just keep the minutes and everything and then um, be over top of the general members if it's a big show so that, like, there's a section coordinator that kind of directs the general members where they need to be and make sure that that's everything's a okay. Lot of responsibility. Yeah, but it's worth it. I really that's enjoy good. it. Yeah, that's really good. Are you doing any other kind of, like, organizations, activities, or anything at all? Um... Last year, I was a Relay for Life captain, and this year I'm kind of helping program board out as a co-captain for Relay for Life, mm -hmm. and I helped with Siblings Weekend earlier in the year, and I'll probably help with that again next year, maybe as a committee chair for it. Okay, that's really good. Alright, so spring break is coming up. Are you going to do anything fun for that? Um, I don't know about fun, but I'm going to have my eyes checked probably get new glasses and donate blood. That's good. So you're going to go home? Yeah. Stuff. So why are you going to give blood? Any reason at all? 
Um, I've just been giving blood for the last few years. Um, do. Yeah, the first time I went, actually, I was kind of thinking I would never go back again, but I gave it another try. And why weren't you going to go back again? Well, the first time I tried to give was at high school, and the lady informed me that I would be a baby killer if oh. I donated. Oh, well, how would you be a baby killer? Um, I had been to Mexico on a cruise over spring break that year, and apparently the part of Mexico that I had been to is known to have like certain viruses that are whatnot that are transmitted by mosquitoes, and even though I was only there for a couple hours, because it's on their hazard list of places to donate from, mm -hmm. she was um, concerned that I might have the disease or whatever, but she was way too blunt about it, saying that I was going to be a baby killer if I tried to donate and stuff, and it was like, chances are I don't have it, and I can understand your concern that I might, but you don't have to be in my face about it, and that's why I was thinking I probably wouldn't donate. Right, but it obviously didn't change your mind, so. Um, it actually had changed my mind, but both my mom and my grandma have donated for years, and they told me that it was probably the cranky lady that they always ask not to have, oh, okay. because she's a screener and then is in charge of putting the IV in, and they said that she has a history of being aggressive in like her screening and at putting the needle in and stuff, so I know if I see her in the future just to ask for somebody different to do the pre-screening so I don't have her jam the needle into my arm. Well, that's good, so she didn't have any interference of why you're going to get blood or anything, so mm -mm. she's going to go and do it anyway. Yep. Well, that's really good. Hopefully it looks nice to help people out. It's good to get back. Do anything else spring break? Just relax? Or um, hopefully relax. I haven't really had a break between school. I've taken summer classes the past couple of years, uh, and I've had work along with that, mm -hmm. and so I haven't really had a break per se. Yeah. Winter break, I was up here working at the library the whole time. This year, for spring break, I'm just going to work Friday and Saturday, and then have the whole following week off to go home and just Good. relax, so. Good. Good. Well, thank you for coming in. Okay, it was nice talking with you. It was good talking with you. Well, thank you.